these pieces, especially the final piece on the program, the Les Illuminations, really, to me, begged for extra musical activity that brought the music to a new level. I've always wanted to collaborate with an artist that was well-versed in dance as well as theater and opera, so this seemed like the perfect opportunity to bring these worlds together. When they approached me about doing this project, it seemed like uh, a natural partnership. I'm always eager for a challenge and for the opportunity to create an interdisciplinary experience of bringing dance and music together and to approach music that is new to me and to build a world for an audience that brings a rich visual life to the experience of watching music. Britton does this amazing thing where he uses sort of the simplest of musical means to transport us to a completely different musical world that you would never expect. And at the same time, the poetry is so incredibly cryptic and almost hallucinatory. To look at the way Britton handles this music is just absolutely stunning and it has such a powerful and sort of dramatic punch to the music. So now we're at the stage where we're putting pieces together, finishing things up, figuring out how musicians will be involved. Really enjoyed that we will get to have live musicians involved in this. The exciting thing is to see how our singers, orchestra, and the dancers, what that dialogue and interplay is like. I think it can reach our audience at so many different levels. The dancers have the role within a program like this of making the words move off of the page. This language is then kind of extracted into poetries that can be expressed in time and space. I'm always eager to think about how the flow of an evening of performance, you know, supports a journey for an audience. And the exciting thing is how are these three art forms going to come together to create something that is far much greater than the sum of its parts? So just a kind of unique configuration of different forms of art all coming together in the Arts at the Armory space in Somerville, which is kind of a nice intimate venue that should be a really cool space to have this kind of performance in.